Arlene here, and this week I am dressed at least partly as Honey Lemon, uh, at least in her battle armor, not like we did last year with her casual streetwear. I bought the undershirt and matching leggings at Under Armour years ago. It was the perfect color purple and I thought, hey, might as well grab it. And then I made the dress very, very quickly, uh, the way I usually do all my dresses. See my past video making my previous Honey Lemon and my Starfire just using clothes that I already have in my closet and just using those as an outline pattern for the fabric. I realize right now I just kind of look like kind of like Angelica from <laughs> from the Rugrats, uh, but once we actually create the battle armor in James's workshop, it'll come together really fast. We still need to make the helmet and the uh, chest piece, and then I will be working on the purse fairly shortly. I already have all of the palms that are going to be kind of wrapped around the strap to look like the chemical compounds that she uses as her weapons. Uh, I'm very excited for that project. And this should be worn on probably day two or three of Comic-Con, still not 100% sure, just because I want to know a little bit more about the weather and all the lovely people I'm going with, see if we want to coordinate again this year. Now I don't think anyone else in my crew is doing anything Big Hero 6 theme. Uh, I know we talked about doing Spider-Verse themed, but much like last year, it's kind of more obscure, not something you see very often. And actually for my birthday, that was just a couple weeks ago, my wonderful roommate got me the Big Hero 6 Honey Lemon Battle Armor Pop figure, which is absolutely adorable and will be very extremely helpful when designing her actual armor belt and helmet. I'm very excited to see how we do the helmet because we've already looked up plenty of different ideas and tutorials on how to do it, uh, and it'll be the first one on our channel. Now granted, I have a, kind of a small head, so it'll be a task is for sure, but I'm very excited and again, it'll be something else that we've done on our channel and kind of expanded our wide range of props and accessories, because what we want to keep doing is thinking of new ideas, new things to do, to show you guys and keep you guys interested, showing you new and creative things to do to help you along either your cosplay or nerfing journeys. Because believe it or not, even though it is the end of June right now, October really isn't that far away and we still need to finish up James's Hunter, which is just in, I think, four weeks from when I'm filming this. And then we gotta hurry up with Honey Lemon and still need to find a fourth one if I end up doing a fourth. because. Honestly, a lot of these are pretty layered and very hot, uh, so I at least want one day to kind of feel comfortable and hopefully I'll have a chance to take some photos with some celebrities down in the bottom floor this year. I haven't had a chance to in the past because it's a bit pricey, but I'm hoping this year I can take some photos and do the meet and greets and I might want to do that as myself rather than in cosplay. But I'll keep you guys posted on what the decisions are and I, I'm sorry, this is just kind of an interim. It's a quick video, nothing really special, but I just wanted to assure you that things are coming along quite quickly. <laughs> Since James and I already kind of have a good idea of how to do the armor and have some great ideas for the actual helmet. So my personal and work life is kind of crazy at the moment, so I'm going to wrap this up. You know the YouTube drill, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell at the bottom, and we will see you next time working on James's Hunter. Thanks. Bye.